Hi viewers. Today we have this late 50s to early 60s Dominion box fan. And it's all original. Even all the way down to the plug. It's original. I'm going to plug it in here. And I'm going to flip it around and show you guys the motor. So I is the handles. This is mint handle, mint condition knob. It's got a little bit of rust, but it's fine. I'm just started off here on low. I start off here on low speed, and then work my way up. Now, usually it's in my living room, but the lighting's really bad in here, so I started doing the kitchen work. It's bad by the way. This hand moves a ton of, of air. It has very good bearings. It has very long spin down time. It's probably my longest spinning down portable and box fan. Now before I end this video, I'm going to tell you a little story about what I believe is this kind of fan in particular. Um, because what I remember as a child, I'm just going to plug it here because I'm going to put it back in the toilet in the living room and I'm done with the this video. This particular fan, I remember my aunt has this really old like 1800s house and she has like this deck. And when I was little, I used to always go under the deck because there was a fan that had a red emblem, the red the rectangle emblem. And it was like a turquoise blue with three circle shaped blades on it that were metal, like kind of like a primer color. Now, I've been trying to find that fan. I thought it might be a General Electric or something. I didn't know what it was. Emerson or an Eskimo or something. But I ended up going to Saw Degrees for a camping trip and I went we was walking around, there was a car show that I was going that I went to and um but walking around I decided to look in the antique shops just because I like looking in antique stores, seeing if there's anything really good. And I found an old tornado window fan. Of course, not for sale. You never find fans for sale in antique shops. Half the time the good ones are always in use. But see sit in the window. This fan facing out the window, sitting there, and I wanted it, bad. So lo and behold, I thought I couldn't get it, it was $40 originally, um, thought I couldn't get it, I asked my mom, the guy, the guy could give Devin credit, whatever, the guy didn't do credit, I'm like, oh man, my aunt was with us, and she ended up talking the guy down to 30 bucks and bought me it. And now I have the fan that I believe. Well, this isn't the exact one, I'm pretty sure it's still in the window. But I'm very convinced this fan right here is the one. Because I recognize from that fan this distinct feature right here. It had the cord sticking out the side, 
and it was hanging by a handle identical to this. And I don't know if all vintage fans have it, but it has this kind of knob on it. Let me just tip it on the side really quickly. It has this kind of handle, and it has a more modern looking knob. Now, it's getting around the time where I'm going to have to clean this thing. So it's getting to that point. It's getting a little bit dusty. So I'll make a video of how to clean one of these. I've cleaned it before. I'll clean it again. I'm going to take this blade off this time. Because I have an Allen key. Or an Allen wrench. Whatever you want to call it. I have a security screw thing for that. And I'll make a video of how to clean this. So, yeah. That's a little backstory behind this kind of fan. I don't know if this is the same one that I saw as a kid. Could be, but it looked identical to this fan. It might be in this tomorrow or something, but this is pretty close to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, have a wonderful day, everybody. Um, hope you guys learned a little something today about me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, everyone.